we are sitting here with Commissioner Cretu of the European Commission. Commissioner Cretu, I'm curious about how the European Commission would like to get involved in the implementation of the new urban agenda. First of all, I am very glad to represent the European Union and its member states. And this UN Habitat conference is coming just in time because the European Union just adopted a few months ago the EU urban agenda. Uh, it was due to the Dutch presidency and uh, we have adopted the Pact of Amsterdam and then it was endorsed by the European Council. So now we have a, a legal framework to involve all the cities, member states and other stakeholders in the developing a European urban agenda. Uh, and of course we will contribute to the, this global uh, uh, urban agenda through our European urban agenda. We are working uh, on 12 partnership uh, on, uh, uh, of course, uh, jobs, uh, growth, uh, um, fighting with poverty, uh, air pollution, so uh, we address energy efficiency, so we, in, in urban mobility. So in fact, we address all the challenges that cities are facing. Uh, you know that Europe is one of the most, if not the, one, the most urbanized uh, continent in the world. 70% of the population is living in cities uh, in uh, Europe. And according with uh, UN statistics, uh, un until 2050, 80% uh, of the population will, and 85% of all uh, GDP and wealth is done in, uh, the Europe, in, in cities. So I think it's very important for us to concentrate on cities and to contribute to this agenda. So we have launched today uh, a city-to-city -city partnership with uh, all the cities from all continents. We have a dedicated program and the European Union will be a facilitator in all this and we also finance some of these exchanges of good practices. Of course, we build a lot. We have uh, many instruments, uh, cross-border cooperation between cities, for instance, in Germany, between uh, Frankfurt and Moder and Slubice in Poland, uh, between Bratislava and Lowo Austria. So we have in Europe many instruments. We would like to expand on our experience, but also I think we, uh, we have uh, a lot to, l to learn ourselves from other cities in, in the world. So I think it's very important to be here and to, have to build on mutual understanding and cooperation. Can you give me an example and more details on some of the commitments that you've launched here today? So first of all, first commitment is that we will contribute to, to the EU agenda through our European agenda, and I have developed earlier. The second one is uh, uh, cooperation between European Union, OECD, and the World Bank in the reinforcing our strategic partnership in uh, having a clear definition of cities because you know that cities are very different uh, across the continents in size, dimension, accessibilities, uh, also social and economic dimension. So we would like to work together with the OECD and the World Bank in order to have a clear definition and to help, uh, to help uh, cities to know uh, what are the most important indicators for the well-being uh, of the citizens. So uh, we would like to improve our data system and methodologies uh, through our international partners, uh, going from the bottom-up up approach, from what is needed uh, from the citizens' point of view. And the third uh, uh, commitment that we take is to expand, as I said, our experience uh, in all over Europe and to launch this uh, City to Cities uh, program, which will uh, which we will finance as European Union together with uh, some cities that will it will be the next step to select the cities with a frame, uh, the same uh, frame mind uh, uh, and they can work together in uh, exchanging good practices. From my point of view, this governance and uh, administrative capacity is sometimes much more important than money. So I think it's very important to exchange knowledge and pr good practices uh, in, uh, in of the cities, because um, this urban agenda and UN Habitat is coming with a huge trust 
uh, in cities, but in the same time with a huge responsibility of cities. For instance, in European Union, for the first time, we'll uh, uh, give money directly to the cities. 15 billion will be. So it's uh, it's a sign of trust of the European Union to to, uh, to the cities. But it's their responsibility now to design high quality projects, which really which really improve the life of the cities, in, and then to implement. And when it comes to implementation, this is the hardest part. And I think uh, it's very important for us that this week not to remain in the history uh, just with another declaration, but to go on with the implementation of what we all committed here during uh, uh, this week in Quito. And finally, would you be willing to explain a little bit about how additional programs that the European Commission could use to foster the development of the new urban agenda's implementation. So, as I, as I said, we are, are not uh, building from scratch. So we are working on the urban agenda for a long time. Of course, it was a lot of resistance uh, for 20 years from member states and cities because of this principle of subsidiarity. But now, for the first time, nobody was against this urban agenda because we come to uh, an understanding that we cannot work in isolation, that we already we have uh, these uh, instruments. And uh, as I said, we have Urbact. Uh, it's a program already which uh, uh, have uh, very good examples in Europe and now we extend internationally. Internationally, we have territorial cooperation, we have cross-border cooperation. So, uh, also, we'd like to uh, to to speak uh, uh, and we uh, engage with OECD and the World Bank in order to help cities, so they could count uh, on us, on European Union, as a reliable partner, not, not only inside Europe but also all over the world. Thank you very much.